Todd here with How to Talk About Jesus Without Being That Guy by Sam Chan. Here, Sam gives us an evangelism tip. Tell them stories about Jesus. Tell them stories about Jesus. This one's as simple as it sounds. Tell them stories from the Bible. A great way for you to show your friend what you mean about when you say you're a Christian is to tell them a story about Jesus from the Bible. Most of our non-believing friends have no idea what's in the Bible. They have some poor caricatures of what they think the Bible says, but they've never actually read or heard the Bible for themselves. But if we give them a chance to hear from the Bible, they will discover for themselves how fresh, disarming, and countercultural the Bible's message is. Moreover, telling them a story from the Bible allows them to imagine the Bible's wild worldview rather than merely giving them an argument to argue against. Depending on the context, Sam writes that he may tell them a story of Jesus being healed from the paralyzed man being lowered through the roof on a mat by his friends. Afterward, I may ask them, why would Jesus do that? And see what my friend says. Or I may tell them the story of Jesus turning water into wine. I love this story because it's so disarming. What on earth is Jesus doing giving so much good wine to people that have already drunk enough? I ask my friend, why would Jesus do that? I usually have a chance to explain. Jesus partly did this to give us an image of what life is like with him in this life and in the life to come. So if you think that by following Jesus in this life, you'll miss out, you're wrong. It's actually the opposite. By not following Jesus in this life, you'll miss out. And then I see where the conversation goes from there. Or sometimes I tell them the story that Jesus tells about the Pharisee and the tax collector. Afterward, I explain that the Pharisee's prayer today would probably sound like this. Dear God, I thank you that I'm not better than most people. I drive a hybrid car and not a gas guzzler. I give money to charity. I don't cheat on my wife. I go to all of my children's plays and concerts and awards nights. I, I go to church twice on Sundays, both traditional and contemporary services. And then I ask, why does he not get saved according to Jesus? Then I have a chance to explain that while we often think of sin as breaking laws, Jesus usually speaks of sin as being puffed up, being self-righteous or bragging. I can then explain how the tax collector got saved by humbling himself and trusting in God. Our evangelism tip, tell them stories about Jesus.